defense, right? So Reese gets an underhook on me. I can I can get my overhook down below his elbow and kind of crank down on this right here. That's kind of where the position where we're attacking the wrist and slipping our, our hook out and looking for secondary attacks. Now, also I can like pop the shoulder, get my elbow to the top of his shoulder, cut it down and circle away from him. That's a little risky if the guy's popping me up and jacking me up because they could drop to a body lock or a single. Um, the other one I want to, the other one I want to talk about is when this guy's starting to kind of elevate me here and, and I, I'm starting to get stood up and I drop my hips and I look for this thigh prize. Okay? If the guy's been beating me up a lot, standing me up and kind of bullying me in with the hook, you'll, you'll have guys that'll kind of sag down and look for this thigh pry and they'll actually they'll actually circle towards the underhook to try to to try to hyperextend that elbow and then be able to get out of the underhook. So what we're going to do if they go thigh pry and try to circle away is that we're just going to come up and arm drag them. Okay? So I get this hook right here. Reese kind of sags down. He's starting to thigh pry. All I'm going to do, see how my hook's beat. I don't have any way to control this. But what I'm going to do is, as my elbow's getting twisted and slipped, I'm just going to replace it. Now, what I don't want you to do is start running and chasing this drag. Okay? Because when I have an arm drag, what does he have? An arm drag. When I have an arm drag, what does Reese have? An arm drag. The same thing. It's 50-50. So I want you to think about connecting your outside hip to his hip immediately. I'm not stepping and chasing. I'm stepping, boom, and connecting. I don't know if you, you, a lot of you guys remember uh, Coach Anton, uh, Russian guy we had here for a while. He was a really good Greco guy. He was real good at teaching underhooks, arm drags, stuff like that. A, a lot of this stuff is, is, is stuff he taught while he was here. So Reese is thigh prying, circling, circling, circling. He's beating me. My elbow's beat right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach up with my free hand as I'm slipping my hook out. So I'm slipping my hook. I'm getting to this position, and then I'm connecting hips. Now, once I connect hips, I'm just gonna drag them down to the mat. As soon as these hands hit the mat, I got my two, okay? Don't run in a circle and try to beat them, all right? So club punch, I got my hook, he thigh prize, he's starting to beat me. All I'm doing is when he gets right here, and I feel my shoulders starting to get beat, underhook hands coming out, free hands coming in. So underhand, hooks coming out, free hands coming in, boom. Connecting hips and then dragging them down to the mat. That's all I'm doing. So partner, I want you to really clamp that hook down. I want to have to slip the arm out, reach up in the armpit, start to drag, connect outside hips. Halfway fast, over here. He starts to stop right out, right here. Get that hip connected. Get that hip connected. Then we can get our take down and start working for our top, top support. Question? One more time. So again, all he's doing is going down to my thigh and prying and circling to it. Okay? Snap off. Alright? So as I'm starting to get beat here, I don't wait till I get here. I get here, I'm, I'm already getting beat. So as I'm trying to underhook and I feel immediate thigh pry, boom, right there. Release that pressure, boom, connect tip. And then drag him down to the mat. Come back up to your feet. When I connect to the hip right here, I'm just dragging them down. Just get them to their hands and their elbows. Nothing reckless, just controlled hands to the mat. Go! Last one.